Gilbert police just released dozens of new photos showing more violent attacks involving teenagers in their town. Investigators are hoping that it will lead to those suspects being identified and arrested. 12 News journalist Chase Go Lightly is live tonight in Gilbert with the update. Chase. Mark Creepy, the photos detail five separate incidents of teen violence happening in here at Gilbert. Three of them were cases that were recently brought to the police department's attention. The other two were cases that were originally closed but recently reopened. These photos show several brutal beatings involving teenagers in Gilbert. Screenshots taken from videos posted on social media showing multiple people ganging up on one teen or kicking young victims while they're on the ground. Gilbert police currently have nine active investigations surrounding these teen assaults. But as of now, they are only sharing photos from five of the investigations that took place in Gilbert and surrounding areas, including a downtown parking garage, outside someone's home, near Freestone Park, and two attacks happening near Santan Mall. Not a lot of information is known about these beatings. Police don't know when three of them happened. However, they did say this one happened back in December of 2022 and the other in August of last year. While they are still searching for suspects, on Wednesday they did arrest four teenagers for their suspected role in this beating outside an in and out burger. An aggravated assault on a victim bound, restrained, or otherwise unable to resist. That is a class six felony. 18 year old Eris Arandondo is one of those suspects, making his first court appearance Thursday morning. If this was a planned violent attack amongst a sizable group of people, including Mr. Arredondo, on a minor victim. Aaron Dondo, 18-year-old Christopher Fantastic, and two 16-year-olds are all facing charges for violently beating another 16-year-old to the point of hospitalization. The state believes the beating was retaliation because the teen victim reported threats made against him to the school. There's still uh, guilty parties out there that need to be charged. That victim's father, Richard Keener, telling us he's not sure if the suspects in his son's case are related to the group known as the Gilbert Goons. But prosecutors allege they are part of something. The state is concerned that Mr. Arredondo is um, one of several individuals in the community of Gilbert that has been uh, perpetrating attacks similar to this one uh, on um, minors in the community. At this time, we know several community members are already reaching out to police trying to help them identify those suspects. Gilbert police also released several other photos that we didn't show you. You can find those on our website. For now, we're live in Gilbert. Chase Colightly, 12 News. Hey, Chase.